Hey, welcome back everyone. It is time for another red hot cover call video. Hey, look, I'm here in the great state of Oregon, absolutely at my favorite place, Drake Park. We're actually getting in a nice two mile run before I start my day, but this is where we're gonna be in this video. It's called Drake Park. Absolutely love that. Jog this every day. Look, get your health right. At the end of the day, we can make all the money in the world, but if we don't have our health, what's it worth, right? You could follow me on Facebook, John Greathouse. I absolutely motivate myself because I don't have anybody pushing me. I don't have a gym rat. I have nobody to tap me on the shoulder and say, hey, look, let's get up and get in the game. So I have to do it, and that's what I do. So today, today we're gonna talk about when I was here last, what seems to be some two and a half years ago. Now, two and a half years ago, we talked about Rocket Mortgage and how I was gonna make $2,000 a month using Rocket Mortgage. We talked about everything that uh, I thought was an awesome investment to generate $2,000 a month using a stock that trades sideways to nowhere, okay? Now, let's talk about where we're at with Rocket. Because as you know, I have 4,000 shares, and I've been spinning those plates for the past two and a half years, knocking down over $30,000 using that stock. Yeah, I thought it was 25,000, but when I ran some numbers, it's now $30,000 for a stock that literally fell from $21 down to where it's trading at right now for nine bucks. But here's the deal. Any, any investor of Rocket absolutely losing half their money but we selling premium investors if you did it like me you pocketed cash flow yeah I'm down on the shares but that's a mindset we've been talking about this for years and if you don't have the mindset you will be broken not me I'm down on the shares those shares are in my toolbox and they are a tool for which I use to generate monthly cash flow. Now, what we're gonna talk about today is where I'm at with that trade. This is how this video is gonna help you because I find myself in a tight spot with Rocket right now, okay? So if you've never been to the channel and you wanna hear about how to generate cash flow doing what I do, then you need to subscribe to the channel wherever it's at. And hey, look, if you like this video today, bang that like button. It lets me know you like what I'm doing. And hey, don't forget, after this video, go over to Facebook and follow my personal page, John Greathouse. Would love to welcome you aboard my personal journey in life through health, wealth, and hey, look, just living the good life, however you define it. Now, let's talk about my rocket trade. So we in trouble. We are in trouble because as I've been using, look at that, look at that view, man. Oh. Love me some Ben. After the nine to five, which is this year, only 146 days, Ben might be called home. Now, where am I at with Rocket right now? I'm in trouble. I have been playing Rocket like a fiddle, literally picking up 20 cent crumbs every single month with 4,000 shares. That puts about six, seven, eight hundred dollars in my wallet, depending on what kind of premium I can get, I've been putting about $800 on the table every single month. And Rocket, because it trades sideways to sideways to lower, I've been able to buy those options back cheaper, pocketing six, seven hundred dollars I, I want you to just, just stick with me for a moment. Imagine peeling off six crisp hundred dollar bills every single month using a stock that has fallen in value by half more than half but we use it see I've been trying to tell you this for years years not just recently years every single stock in our selling premium portfolio has one job selling premium putting cash flow on the table that's its only purpose does not matter where the stock market's at. So that's where the mindset comes in. Because if you bought Rocket like me at 21 and it's now trading for nine, you absolutely think you're a loser. And uh, quite frankly, I probably should too. But you know what? 
<laughs> that's not how we do things here. The way we handle this is we sell premium until, God willing, it comes back. And of course, there's always hope of it coming back, right? We have to make sure we pick great companies. And whether you believe Rocket Mortgage is a great company or not does not matter. I did at the time. So now I'm left holding that bag. Now, is it a bag for which I'm going to curl up in a fetal position and hope and pray that it goes higher? Of course not. Come on. I've been in this game way too long. What we're going to do is we're going to find those nice strike prices. Look, in my last video, I talked about how I select strike prices. If you haven't seen that video, then you need to understand why I pick the strike prices I pick with Rocket. And I've been successful to never have my shares taken away. Make six, seven, eight hundred dollars on the table. And geez, with it trading at nine bucks, that's not much of an investment to get in that. Now, <laughs> no, 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 no. I got into Rocket for my own reasons. You need to get in them for yours. So Rocket has now moved above a strike price that I picked. Now I thought um, when I made this trade, it would not get to nine bucks. Well, with four days left in trading for this week, Rocket is now above nine bucks. Now the stock market's starting to drift a little higher, just like we've been talking about. I don't know who you've been listening to, but if you've been here at the channel, you know that this too will pass. This, this whole thing has been financially engineered since the 2007 real estate crash. So if you haven't had that mindset, you've been afraid to get involved. But yet here we are, me in particular, we're generating cash flow every single month, knocking it down. And a lot of people can't understand how I'm knocking down $7,400 a month in 2022. Well, the numbers speak for themselves. What we do, we use the stocks we have in our toolbox. We don't coil in the fetal position or quit. So many people have quit. Hmm. Can't quit when you're still holding that Verizon phone in your hand. Can't quit when you want the water to turn on to take a shower. You gotta stay the course. Hey, if you're having a problem staying the course, man, contact me. Email me. Ask me a question, okay? I need you to stay in the game mentally. That's the biggest thing, man. It's mindset. And if you're listening to uh, YouTubers that talk about mindset, entrepreneurs, or fake, <laughs> They don't trade the stock market for real money. You have to have an ironclad mindset to be in this market, period. Because if I didn't have the mindset that I have, yeah, I'd be just like every one of you that quit. Now, no offense, because I know you're still here, you're watching. You'd love to hit that dislike button, but you can't. Because we're now going to talk about how I'm going to deal with my rocket tree. Okay? So here's the setup. You're like me. You have rocket, you're much higher. It's not good. That's all right. Rocket has not punched above my $9 strike price. My $9 strike price being I've given somebody the right but not the obligation to take my shares away from me at $9. They paid me some 25 cents. Well, it is now above $9. And if I don't take action by this Friday, they're gonna take my shares. Now, let's remember, where am I at on this trade? Forget all the selling premium, blah, blah. My cost base is 21 bucks. I'm gonna lose hella money on this trade. What we have to do is this. We have to take action. Now, this is a pill I have to swallow because every single month for the past year, two years, man, I've been, stacking the $100 bills with Rocket. We're not doing that this month. So here is the trick. This is the trick. And it goes back to when we talked about when a stock moves above your strike price. Every single penny above the strike price becomes real money in the option. Option pricing has two, two components. It's Intrinsic value, or what I call real money, and time value, extrinsic value. But I, I have never heard anybody say, oh, I have so much extrinsic value left in this option. It's time value. Because time is the mindset trigger word here. We only have so much time. And in fact, I only have four days. 
So I have to do something. So this is exactly what we're gonna do. With Rocket now trading 11 cents over the $9 strike price, where do you think that option's priced? Okay, every penny above $9, every penny above $9 is real money in this option. Now time value is shrinking because Friday is the day. So as time value in this option shrinks, that's when I need to act. Give an example. Say this morning it's 15 cents. The option I got paid 25 cents for, it's trading for 15 cents. But it's 11 cents over the strike price. So, 15 cents is the current option price. 11 cents of the 15 cents is real money. Right? It's $11 above, pardon me, it's 11 cents above my $9 strike. So that means four pennies represent the cost of this trade. Four pennies. Now remember, I did get 20, what did I get, 25 cents? So if I buy this back for 15 cents, I actually make money on this trade. Do you see how that works? I got paid 25 cents, but I need to clear this trade. I need to clear the obligation. So I'll pay 15 cents. See how I still pocket 10 cents? But I have to take action. But this video is all about understanding the two components of option pricing. If Rocket trades to $10 come Friday, let's do the math now. That option for which I got paid 25 cents is now trading for $1 and time value. If it's on Friday, chances are time value is one penny. By the way, you like that shirt? That's banging. Got that a uh, Iron Maiden concert. Iron Maiden this September. So, if I buy that option back, one dollar, one penny, now do the math. I got paid 25 cents, the stock's now at $10. I buy it back, I'm gonna pay 75 cents to close this trade. Take the obligation off the board where they cannot take my shares. Now, in this game, where I'm trying to generate cash flow on the table, that's not a good deal. That's like you letting somebody rent a property and you have to pay for their month. I'd have to pay 75 cents to keep those shares. But I have to do it. That's the key here. I have to do it. Now, I'm going to take that hit. I'll pay the 75 cents and I'll absolutely be kicking myself. But what we do, what we do, we go ahead and roll just like we did this time. Picking the correct strike price. We're not going to get aggressive. And we're going to do it again. Repeat this. We're going to do it again. And I am not going to look back. I lost money, but I'm going to move forward. We're going to make that back eventually. See, I've talked about this over the years too. I believe if we wrote covered calls every 30 days, we pick the right strike prices, we pick great stocks. And again, you may not think Rocket is a great stock, but I'm in it, so it's great to me. But if we, pay, if we pick great stocks, I believe we could write covered calls every day. If you want to paper trade or, or uh, um, just try to figure out the numbers, go for it. I know that if I place that trade every single month, it can be profitable. And in the end, it will be profitable. And that's what's going to happen here with Rocket. Even though I lose money, I'll pick up a little bit more on the next roll. And hopefully Rocket, which has moved from $7.50 to $9, uh, peels back. Now in my example, that was $10, but peels back. So the first option that I write after I lose money could be profitable, paying back some of that debit. We do it again and again and again. Okay, so, so if you find yourself in a situation where you now have a stock that's above your strike price, Number one, you got to do something. Sitting on your hands, taking a chance. Hey, that's on you. I might let this trade roll to Friday and just live with it. Right now, I can make money. So when I get done with this two-mile jog, I might just go take it off the board, make less money, but roll it forward. Got to take action. 
Second, we don't want to get aggressive. We don't want to feel like we lost money here. Can't feel that way. And then pick the $10 strike and try to get a buck. That is a mistake I've made before. I lose the 75 cents in my hypothetical trade and now I'm gonna get aggressive. I'm gonna write that $10 strike thinking no way it uh, continues to roll higher and then I get snapped off again. You have to pick great strike prices. Okay, watch my video that's after this one uh, on great strike prices. You have to pick them, okay? Hey, check these, check these. They got a, they got a front row seat to John L. Hey, look, I'm gonna leave it there. I am in the great state of Oregon visiting my oldest son. Absolutely love me some Ben. Hey, look, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and visit me over on Facebook, John Greathouse. Follow me on my life's journey of health, wealth, success. Hey, until next time, and, and I got a heck of a video for you next time. We're going to talk about making some real cash flow that I've been doing with this one particular stock. So you need, you need to be on the lookout for my video. Hey, be safe, be healthy, most important, be lucky. Until next time, may all your covered calls be profitable.